As the rain really started to come down. And then more people arrived. That was, it was remarkable. The rain got heavier and, and the crowd got larger, if anything. Or we backstage figured that they'd be driven away by the rain because it was really bucketing down at that stage, but no. By they, that time there were 24,000. Yeah, I spoke to a, poli to a police officer uh, just after midnight oil had started and they estimated at that stage the crowd to run about 23,000 people and they were having a fine old time. Well, that's obvious. Midnight Oil were having a fine old time too, despite the fact that at that stage, backstage, there were fuse boxes issuing forth with smoke. There was great amounts of water in the tarpaulin above the stage. We were really worried backstage at that point that it wouldn't get on. But when they got on, well, you'll see what we'll happened. We'll see what happened. Oh, before we go to them, we must thank a whole lot of people that helped oh, yeah. to organise the day. Oh, the bands. So many people were involved in the organisation. I think that, well, um, first of all, I should thank the people from May 28, because you guys did a really good job. Um, our engineers backstage, all the people from Triple J who did so much work for it. The uh, New South Wales Railways, who through David Hill provided the concessions on the trains for us. And all those people who did the staging, what a job they did. And of course, all the people that were there. Oh yeah. To see all the bands. Couldn't have been a gig without that crowd. <laughs> Certainly couldn't. Okay, let's close with Midnight Oil. It's a moody blues, this song.
All right, we're gonna play a song. Mr. James Jr. wants us to do a song. Get some money, that's too bad. Now you must have a dollar there. I've got a dollar. I will auction myself. I will auction every member of Midnight Oil, provided, guaranteed, when that man approaches you with a bucket, instead of saying off, you give him something for it, alright, please. It's about the youth refuge. Surf music. Where are my flares?
of Rock Around the World earlier than the time advertised in most newspapers. It will be shown this Friday night at five minutes to midnight in simulcast with 2 Triple J FM in Sydney and 3 Triple R FM in Melbourne. Stay tuned now for the O28 News, which you can see in just a few moments.